Previously on the Dice Girls. Mom, please help. I found Great Grandma Wilhelmina's secret details about her Omara ritual, and I tried to perform it on my family here, and something went so terribly wrong. The explosion nearly brought down the entire perg. I don't know how to fix this. Please send help. I had to run from the perk when the explosion happened. I'm hiding now. If you're out there, please help. The fireflies will know where to find me. Wolfric. With sugar and spice and a roll of the dice, you're listening to The Dice Girls. Trigus, whatever this was, it, I mean, he said that the letter said that you weren't part of the ritual, so at the very least, I guess we know that you're not somehow tied up in this, except you kind of are. I, I don't know what to make of any of this. Wolfric said all of these people were innocent, and maybe he's right. And Trigus, I believe you're innocent, of course. I mean, we yeah, just went yeah, over uh-huh. this. <laughs> but why were they all getting sent there? Why... Were they the only innocent people and they just happened to find each other there? <sighs> Blaney, like, we really need to go talk to Sadie. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Should we take that book that's in Gnomish? I don't know. If, do we need it? I mean, I mean it would probably be good to take it just in case. Um, And then we can bring it back? Should we talk to Charlie and... <sighs> I think we should just talk to Charlie. Uh, Charlie's cool. It's yeah, funny. but... Uh, just... Take the book and hide it. Don't say that you have it, and then we'll talk to Charlie and see what they say. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I mean, we we can't afford to spend time teleporting back and forth to try and get translated either. Right. Because we've only been to Frindle Sticks once, and it could go terribly wrong if we transport back. Well, yeah, and like that wastes two days, and yeah. yes. we're trying to save the world. Yeah. We don't know how much time we have. Uh-huh. And you have night terrors that are like real bad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Can can I see your gems? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, ones, yeah. the ones that are left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, of, of course. I pull the gems out nervously and show them to you and don't let you touch them. <laughs> I can't touch them? But what if it's a secret clue? We just don't. Well, see, they say you weren't. I wolf wasn't Rick's part of the so ritual, like, so. Wolfric. So that would be Wolfric, Sadie, uh, Roke. Shale, Taru. Oh, but then there's there's one, five, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So then maybe you're the gold band. I don't know. That's what I was gonna say. I think that's anything, the only one that's well, that's the only one that's not desecrated. But I've already seen them, and I've but been you haven't around them and touched nothing them. Happened. Nothing happened until Wolfric touched the purple gem. Okay, Trigus. I'm gonna let you touch this golden gem, but there are rules. Okay. <laughs> Open palm. Open palm. <laughs> no clothes. <laughs> no clothes. No smash. <laughs> no leave. No. No anything. No pocketing. No, no eating. Okay. <laughs> Just leave it where we can see it. Yeah, okay. I think that's. I think that's good. We we good. Okay, so I hold out my hand. No clothes. Right? Uh, no, yeah, it's no open. My hand is open. <laughs> okay, and I tentatively <laughs> get, place the golden gemstone into the palm of your hand. And Trigus, you are now holding a golden gemstone. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, do you still, do we still have that salve ointment? Oh, do we still have the salve ointment? Yes, yes. Who do. was carrying it? I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I reach in your bag, I take it out, and I put it over my, my forehead like we were taught. <laughs> It's just a rock. As far as you can see, it's just a regular yellow gemstone. All right. No glow. Okay. So do we talk to Charlie or... What do we say to Charlie? Or do we just leave with the book? I think we say, hey, Charlie, we were just chilling in the area that she's told us we could go. And we found this book on the floor. (laughs) Can you please translate all of it for us? (laughs) Oh, I have... Okay, yeah, we can't go back to Narstad. That would take too long. Let's just... We've got a gnome right here. Yeah. (laughs) The only one for miles. (laughs) Yeah, and they like reading. Yeah. 
and they're a gnome, so hopefully they speak gnomish. <laughs> it's gonna be real disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. I don't speak gnomish. <laughs> I'm the only uh, gnome in it. I work in a gnomish library, <laughs> but somehow never learned the language. <laughs> Grew up in this gnomish settlement in the middle of the gnomish forest. Don't know. I don't know. Maybe they were one of those rebellious teens that didn't want to learn their heritage. (laughs) Fair. (laughs) Just really like the fiction section. (laughs) The common common books. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, let's go. Who's gonna do it? Maybe we should tell Charlie. um, Oh, we can't. What we discovered. Yeah, that's probably like a real big secret that we don't really want to go spreading around. Yeah, yeah, let's just see if if Charlie can read the book to us. Yeah. Okay, so I grabbed the book. There are two. I grabbed two books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. There are three. I grabbed three books. <laughs> there are three leather bound books that have no. Uh, Writing on their spine and that appear to be laid out like diaries. Yeah. Okay. So I do that. And keep one of them hidden in case. How would I keep in case two of them hidden? <laughs> yes, in case Charlie gets upset and okay. tries to attack us. Then we have two of the books hidden that we can have translated yeah. elsewhere. Which one looks least important? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is there one that clearly looks least important? <laughs> they don't necessarily look more or less important, <laughs> but they're. Uh, one of them is clearly older than the others. One of them is clearly... You can tell which one is the oldest and which one is the newest. Okay, which would the be... The newest would be most important. The most recent, wouldn't it? Um, I guess, or, but it could also just have a bunch of stuff written in there that we won't understand without reading the first two books. <sighs> oh. Okay, so, uh, which one do I hide then? If Okay, if we want Charlie to translate what? the books... Which one is most important that is translated? Let's show them the very first book. Okay. Let's or we could do eeny, meeny, night, eeny, meeny, no me, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. I shoved the last two books in my bag <laughs> and I locked the door behind me. <laughs> okay. So you're uh, carrying openly the oldest one? Yes. Okay. Got it. And then we secretly put the keys back. So Charlie doesn't know that we've been where they told us not to go. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Uh you go searching about the library again, um, and you do finally find Charlie. They said they would be like pretty far away and they were. Uh shelving books uh, uh in a in a certain section. Um they 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 stop and, and turn around and, and look and smile at you uh and, and they say I, I trust you've been having a, a good time in in the library here. Yeah, look, hey, we just found this book, <laughs> <laughs> but it's <laughs> I couldn't tell you where. It just kind of crossed our paths. Um, <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> could you? Pos- it's in gnomish. Could you possibly translate it for us? It looks like a diary. <laughs> Will you roll me a deception oh, check, please? God. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Not terrible. <laughs> Charlie believes every word that just came out your mouth. Because <laughs> they rolled a one on their perception. <laughs> or insight, I should say. Charlie not one on insight. Uh, <laughs> so they uh, they kind of, they, they look and, and they, they say, a, a, a diary? That, that shouldn't be out here. I mean... Oh, I'm so glad you found it. Thank you. I, I I need to return it to where it belongs immediately. Could you translate it for us, please? Well, I mean, I'm really not supposed to. If it's a diary, it's from like a private secret kind of thing. And I just, I really shouldn't. But what if it's a matter of uh, life or death? Well, I just, I, I really, I'm not, I, oh, I already, uh, no, I really shouldn't. I can't. I'm sorry. But I do want to put it back. Can I put it back? I really need to put it back where it belongs. What do I do? Would it be super awful if you use Charm Person? Oh. Oh. Uh, I'd like to try to use Charm Person. Okay, but... uh, Yeah, that's... Okay, that's our only option here. Because Charlie... After an hour... An hour? Charlie will know that you used Charm Person. And will be mad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. But I think Charlie's going to be mad either way. Because they're going to go back and they're going to see things are missing. Okay, yeah. 
Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your spell save DC? 12. Okay. Okay. That's not very high. But it's more than half. So. Well, and Charlie does have advantage. I will tell you that. Gnomes uh, have advantage on saving throws against magic. If, okay. the, if it's a wisdom, God. intelligent, oh, or charisma. God, oh, this isn't going to go. Charlie's going to hate us either way. <sighs> Uh, yeah, um, your spell does not <sighs> quite go off as expected. <sighs> Charlie looks really surprised for a second. Oh, no. You you like attempt the spell. Awkward. Charlie can feel a spell being attempted on them, and they kind of look at you in shock. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Why would you? Why I thought you guys were cool. What? <laughs> We have to give go. me the book, please. We have to go now. I need that book. I'm sorry, Charlie. We have to go. Do I give the book or do I not give the book? No, we're taking it. Let's go. Okay, we run. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my god! I, f- I oh, I feel so bad. Oh god! Oh god! Uh, who's booking it first? Looks like I got Kai. the book. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. <laughs> who's booking it second? <laughs> Uh, I'll just, can I just scoop up Trigus and start (laughs) booking it next? (laughs) You can carry Trigus, but your speed will be slowed down because you're carrying Trigus. If you pick up Trigus, you will be going the same speed as Charlie. (laughs) You're just right. I got a head start. I know, I got a head head start, right? So I'm always three feet ahead. This is tense. I don't like this. I feel so bad. I hate it too, but I mean, watch these journals don't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> today I had it's like <laughs> yeah. Today I had a kale salad <laughs> and it's just a ye old Instagram <laughs> feed. <laughs> Feeling hashtag blessed. <laughs> Are you carrying triggers? Your speed is probably 30. 30. Yeah. Um, I just need to know who's Bringing up Last. the rear. Yeah, I need to know who's bringing up the rear. Oh, that person's in trouble. Yeah. I'm the squishiest, so I'm going first. I, and you have the book. I, I feel like it makes sense for you to go yeah. first. No, I'll push Trigus ahead of me. I'll, I'll be last. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> As you uh, just turn and book it, <laughs> <laughs> to the shock of Charlie, they take a moment and, and they yell, Hey, hey, come back here. I, I need that book. And and they sniff the air a little bit. A- and the other books, too. Oh. Oh. And, cool um, superpower. <laughs> <laughs> they spend a lot of time in this library. <laughs> um, Rachna, I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Oh, God. <laughs> Let the record show. <laughs> I rolled good four ones. Uh, constitution, mm-hmm. and it's a saving throw, so it's in your saving throw box. And the bubbles still zero. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> Rakna, you kind of feel like um, you hear like a kind of sound, oh. and it, you turn around and look, and you see like this this like puff of green gas. That is just like just curling up towards the very back of you as you uh, narrowly escape uh, being hit by it. Are you all still running? We're running to the horses. Yeah, we're gonna get on the horses. (laughs) Just taking off, I guess. (laughs) Yeah, I feel I feel really bad. Okay, yeah, we're Charlie is still yelling after you. Uh, oh. As you're running, they are falling a little bit behind. You are a little bit faster than them, but five feet to be exact. <laughs> five feet faster. So you hear, you hear Charlie Rockna, especially since you're like in in the in the back. You hear Charlie like muttering as if they're casting another oh, spell. No. Um, as you are running through the shelves of this library, you suddenly see like a silvery <sighs> beam of pale light shining down it's it's a huge beam um and it moves faster than <laughs> than you can move <laughs> you're all kind of caught in this beam of light it it's kind of like you definitely are going to run through it or it definitely God. finds oh. you i need each of you 
no. to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, God. Oh, yay! Oh, and that 20. <laughs> <laughs> eight. 14. So when this silvery beam of pale light hits the three of you uh, instantaneously, because it's a five foot radius, it's big enough to kind of get all ins. Um, and it's, it's, it's all the way, it's high. It's from floor to ceiling. Uh, it's like a cylinder. Kai and Trigus, you're, you both feel this searing pain, almost like you're being engulfed in ghostly flames. Rachna, you also feel some searing pain. It's not quite as intense as what you think your friends might be experiencing. Kai, what do you look like right now? Like, what form are you in? I'm in changeling form. You're in your natural uh, yeah. form? Okay, so nothing changes there. Kai and Trigus each take 11 points of oh. radiant damage, and Rachna takes six. I could cast invisibility on Kai, uh. so at least... Kai could get out. I'm going to drop some ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. to see if that helps. I like it. Um, let's, go, let's go minus 100 ball bearings. Because <laughs> I've got 1,000. No, I've got 999. Right. Yeah, I'm still going to like 100? bail 100 out <laughs> behind... <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully behind rock now. Yeah, you're in front. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> tell me. How this- Toss. <laughs> yeah, I do a big arcing throw. <laughs> hopefully, gets <laughs> <laughs> rock now. We're only a sleight of hand. Oh god. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you throw a hundred ball bearings. It's very noisy in here. This library was like kind of a quiet place, uh, except for Charlie's shouting and your footsteps. Um, but then the sound of a hundred ball bearings hitting the library's wooden floor, uh, echoes. <laughs> echoes? Probably not echoes. No, probably uh, echoes. Maybe, yeah. Does wood know. absorb the sound or does it just I don't know. Off? That's what I was trying to, yeah. Anyways, it's noisy. <laughs> Echo or not. It's, it's quite noisy. Um, Charlie, if, if any of you are looking back, you see Charlie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, almost not like looking, you're just throwing. Then <laughs> none of you get to see the cool vision of Charlie parkouring off of the oh, bookshelves. That's not cool. <laughs> parkouring off the bookshelves, uh, avoiding your ball bearings. Uh, they're still running, but you're definitely you've definitely gained a lot of ground on them. Um, their moonbeam remains in place. They're still shouting at you. I'm shouting back like I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need, I need that. <laughs> oh, God. We're really sorry. We're trying to save the world. Yeah. We'll make it up to you we'll, at we'll some point. Back. We're just checking them out. <laughs> we'll bring them back. We're tight with Wolfric, so it's kind of okay, I guess. We'll pay all the late fees. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be longer than a week, is yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say that after that, uh, you successfully... Find your way to the front door of the library and make it out with Charlie still trailing behind. I feel bad about Cap too, but okay. Oh, if Cap finds out his Warhammer. <laughs> He's also super slow. <laughs> yeah, I think we can get away. Yeah, let's. Uh, we're going to the uh, horses and we're okay. riding off into the sunset. Yep. It is, it is probably definitely uh, the sun has set at this point. Right off oh, into the so starry, starry night. See, it is it is dark. Um, you you are able to get on your horses, yeah, and ride off, ride out of Frindlesticks. Okay, oh, this feels terrible. I feel awful. Yeah, all of us hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Becca, yeah, <laughs> are you part of that? Do you also hate this? I didn't expect this. <laughs> I don't think any of us would yeah. know that we'd be. Having a library heist. <laughs> <laughs> a library heist that goes terribly wrong. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> See, this is why we don't steal stuff. Because <laughs> it just goes wrong. We're I mean, bad at being you bad. successfully stole it. I, I don't you know, know if I... We have enemies. Yeah. It's not success. But that's okay, because we have to find Wolfric. We yeah. have to find Sadie. Yeah. People's lives depend on it. Yeah, okay. We're... 
We're going to keep going. Okay. <laughs> um, It is nighttime. How long do you ride before you find a stopping place? At least an hour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or more because... Magic. <laughs> magic. Yeah. Magic. <laughs> an hour and 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> An hour and a half, just to be safe. Yeah. Everyone roll me an animal handling check. Oh, God. I got a minus one. 19. <laughs> two. <laughs> it oh. was a three. <laughs> two. Mine's a four. I thought I was going to roll lowest, oh. and it, I like that would have made the most sense. Like, I'm the biggest and heaviest, and my horse gets tired first, you know? <laughs> like, uh, nope. And you guys are little shorties. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> how many times do I get thrown off my horse? <laughs> you don't get thrown off. Would that would that would happen if, if I got a one? Yeah. <laughs> Kai and Rockna, your horses kind of keep jostling into each other. Because <laughs> it's dark. Because it's dark. They're, and it, it kind of does slow your going a little bit. Um, you don't get as far as maybe you would have hoped. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just awkward. It's awkward going. You've not ridden in this much darkness before, and especially because the cover of the thick trees right. is even blocking out moonlight or stars or anything that would be providing any sort of light. And and you can see, Rakna, Trigus can see. Kai, you're having a real awkward experience where you can't see and your horse is having problems. <laughs> It's really awkward. <gasps> There's a lot of jostling. You're not going quietly at all. <laughs> but you do arrive uh, at some point at a spot that looks like it would be good to stop for the evening. Hey, Dicelings, it's Becca, your DM. Hopefully you're enjoying episode 52 of the Dice Girls with our library heist, <laughs> our unexpected library heist. Uh, <laughs> things are getting a little wild in here and they're about to get a little um, more wild. So stick around. We want to say thank you for everything you guys do. Um, we just reached 3000 followers on Twitter, which is absolutely insane holy bananas um we spent uh, a little bit of time in the itunes uh charts like the uh, i can't even think of the words right now because it's so insane to me um gaming podcasts in america we were on the charts uh in itunes at like we number 45 which you guys i can't i just <laughs> That's crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, wow. 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 You all are so amazing. You're absolutely life-changing, phenomenal. Like, we are so insanely grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so, 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 so much from the bottom of all of our hearts. This is everything that is happening with the Dice Girls is just unbelievable, and we're so grateful for all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you all. Okay. Well, we're just gonna... <laughs> Yeah, we have to sleep. Yeah, I'm, we I'm down. Hit. We're down yeah. 11. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and set up camp. Um, let's all get settled in. Maybe not too settled, just in case we hear little footsteps yeah. <laughs> running after us. Yeah, but I need to spend some time um, begging for forgiveness from my God. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we need to tie you to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hope we don't come across any, like, planes or anything. Planes? They don't like, exist like, yet. No. <laughs> like, flat ground. Oh. Where there's no trees. Oh. Yeah. We'll just bury your body with, like, your head sticking out. <laughs> I was thinking a stake in the ground, but, you know, that works too. No. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Like have you, <laughs> like have you ever seen someone else's family having fun on the beach? <laughs> so, 
<laughs> someone else. Have you ever seen someone else's family having fun on the beach and they all, they're giggling and they bury somebody in the sand with their head still sticking out. But they're like, oh no, I'm trapped under the sand. Mm. I haven't done it personally because crabs. reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go crabs. <laughs> but I've seen other happy families do it. And, <laughs> and that's keyword here is happy. <laughs> You know, we, let's worry about that when the time comes. <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> no, too Uh Anyways, we have trees here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I've got rope. <laughs> Who's taking first watch? <laughs> I will. I think I need to sing a song to, to relax everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all pretty tense. How are you feeling, Trigus? I'm like, I'm in shock. I'm in completely in shock. I don't know how to process any of this. Um, yeah, I feel like Trigus isn't the best at processing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Most um, stuff just kind of rolls off of him. <laughs> that's very true. That's true. And nothing really ever, like, sinks in. Yeah. But this is somehow permeating that brain, whatever barrier, <laughs> brain, brain <shield>. blood barrier, <laughs> and it's getting, it's getting in, and Trigus is really just like, just blown away. Um, before we turn in for the night, now that we've stolen these books, when are are we going to teleport back to the scuttle and and have someone translate? Maybe after we no, see we've Sadie. No, we've got to get Sadie. We have to get to Sadie. Maybe Sadie picked up some gnomish. <laughs> you think it's going to be like important information that we wish we had before we got Oh, there, I didn't though? think about that. Aww. <sighs> Maybe some extra context on whether or not Sadie's trying to do something good or bad. Oh. Well, I mean, I think we have gotten some pretty conclusive evidence that Wolfric thinks she was good. And she wasn't hurting any of the gnomes. That's true. And we think Wolfric is good too, right? Yeah, we think we we're fairly we we think he's innocent, right? I think he's innocent. He sounded innocent in yeah. his letters. So maybe there isn't any more context that we need if we're fairly certain that at least then she was doing the right thing. Maybe we should teleport. Where we? How back. are we going to get back here though? Because we can't teleport back to Ferndale Sticks. You're right. And plus, we don't know if, well, we don't know if you're going to get possessed or anything again, and we can't put the scuttle in danger. Yeah. Right. I just... Maybe we, maybe if we sleep now, we go in the morning, and then we leave before nighttime, and then just go, like, sleep in the woods again, so I don't sleep attack the gnomes. (laughs) Oh, so, like, that night we spend the night in the woods outside of Narstad? Yeah. So not, like, in the scuttle. And then... And then we try to teleport back here. Oh, that's not a good. Ah, oh, that's not a good idea. If we can't take these books back to some gnomes, <laughs> then what did we steal them for? I don't... <laughs> yeah, let's just okay. Let's go give the books back. No, <laughs> let's go get them translated. <laughs> <laughs> We're not on the same page then. Apparently, <laughs> no, because I don't. <sighs> okay, so right, if we we get them <laughs> translated, then we go give them back. We teleport back to Frindle Six, and then we give the books back. Well, uh, uh, yes. We, we like, is there, like, a book return thing that we can <laughs> just put them in and then leave? <laughs> book return shoot out. Yeah. So we yeah, back. so we don't have to go inside and get damaged again. <laughs> you do not remember seeing a book return shoot. <sighs> That's a great idea, though. Maybe you should mention that to Charlie <laughs> next time and they'll work on building it. Well, we can just like open the door, throw the books in, shut the door, and then continue off in the direction we need to be going. Do you think we could just give them to Cap and ask him to take them to the library? What if he, he like, might attacks her? Us? Yeah, he's going to be mad. Because he had to have heard the ruckus that we made. Charlie's going to. Oh, Char- but Charlie, Charlie's a secret. Mm-hmm. Charlie might get exposed. We don't want to expose Charlie. Well, it's a little late for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, but think about it. Cap hears all this ruckus. Thinks and, it's a squirrel. Well, no, I mean, like, the magic and stuff while we were 
escaping. Um, and then if he sees us riding off or just notices that we're missing, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I if it were me, I would think that the people that I just met that <laughs> right. I don't know <laughs> who asked to see the library mm -hmm. and then the library's trashed uh. and now they're missing. And there's ball berries all over the floor. <laughs> 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 hundred of them so what am i trying to say actually now that i think about it that just makes it sound like he would not be happy with us so that's why i will sneak in some like stealthy or whatever oh yeah <laughs> i'll sneak in i'll like quietly leave the books like either like next to the door or like inside the door and then we can continue on our way and you can be a gnome as you do it I they might just like ask questions like, "Hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Why are you a gnome? I've never seen you before." I was gonna say squirrel. Can you transform into squirrel? No, oh, <laughs> that would be ideal. I can't <laughs> transform into a squirrel. I'm not technically supposed to be able to transform into a gnome. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, it's just. A loophole because you're short, right? <laughs> yeah, we've pre-established that you can be a gnome, so that yeah. one's gonna yeah. Uh, you can still do it, but and a tiefling, which I don't think I should. You be able can, to. yeah. Can you transform into a really big squirrel? No, not how that works. You could transform into Wolfric, but I mean, they wouldn't recognize Wolfric. I don't think because Charlie said that they've never seen Wolfric. Let's ask the people in the scuttle what to do. Yeah, we can, yeah. we can worry about this yeah. when we, we when need we, to leave. We cross that bridge. Gotta okay. So let's sleep here. So if I get all attacky, uh, yes. it's just you guys. <laughs> yeah, and not Good gnome call. children <laughs> running around. <laughs> and then we'll go in the morning. Okay, we do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you tie Kai to a tree. Tie my yeah. tie my yeah. leg or my ankle to a tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trigus said Trigus he was is. taking first watch. Um, so that means Rockman is taking second watch. Are you giving Kai a watch? <laughs> well, I mean, I can take the last watch because if I'm not asleep, it doesn't. I don't usually get possessed when I'm awake. But I wouldn't be able to sleep <laughs> with her out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I guess I'm not getting a watch. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Um, Rockna, roll me a perception check. It's a 15 minus 1, so Fair. 14. During your watch, you are, you just happen to be looking at Kai when you see Kimmy look. Uh, I'm worried. So stressed. <laughs> you look very stressed right now. Oh, should we preemptively take my weapons away? And the to, books? Yeah, like um, remove my equipment in a far area. Is it I too late like, to do that? I feel like we would have done that. Yeah, I feel like we're smart enough to That's do that. That's fair. We can, Cause I was we just, can retcon that. I was, I was just picturing, like, whatever possesses me takes out the dagger and then, like, slices through the rope. <laughs> yeah, let's leave a bunch of sharp objects with you <laughs> right. while we're tying to a tree. Yeah. 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 What could go wrong? Yeah. So Kai's leg is tied to this tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And I have no equipment. Okay. And no books. And no books. And no books. Haha, <laughs> 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 ghosties. <laughs> Try me now. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> so, uh, Rachna sees uh, what appears to be a ghost kind of gliding towards, uh, gliding towards Kai. You see it as it tries to possess her. Kai, roll me a charisma saving throw. Do I add the number that's yes. there? Okay. <sighs> Eight. <laughs> oh, no. Rachna, you very clearly see a ghost <laughs> enter like like its its form is where Kai is, and you see Kai shiver, uh, and then Kai sits up and starts trying to untie the rope that's around her leg. Okay, um Hit me over the head, knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I'm gonna pretty pretty calmly just wake Trigus up. Like, this is the third time that this is happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, Oi! I'm not saying I'm chill about it. <laughs> but you're but like, here like, we go again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, here we go again. Um, okay. Um, so I wake Trigus up. And... Pin her down. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, if she's still tied to the tree. I'm just gonna go try and use protection from evil and good on her. Can I? Um, you wake Trigus up. Can I have all of you roll initiative? Even me? Even you? Oh, I guess Aww. that makes sense. <laughs> Don't just let Nat me do 20. things. Nat twenty. When it doesn't help. No. Well, oh, seven. Do we add anything? You add your. You should have an initiative. Your uh. Oh, twenty-one bonus. Seven. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> I had to do math. So, Trigus, Rockna wakes you up and says, "It's happening again." <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh no! What do we do? Oh, is she weird again? <laughs> yep. Oh no! You what do we, see Kai do we do? trying to untie the rope? That is tying her leg. Kai, stop. Don't do that. And Trigus, you get in action first. Okay. I'd like to cast blindness on the ghost. Trigus, you attempt to blind the ghost uh, that is possessing Kai and nothing happens. It doesn't... uh... (laughs) You accidentally blind me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, nothing happens. Um, Kai, roll me an awareness check. (laughs) wakey check. <laughs> Romy, we're going to have you do two checks this turn. I want a perception check, please, from Kai. Ten? Seven plus three is ten, right? Mm-hmm. Ten. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll say for a ten. Kai, you wake up mm. because you feel yourself moving. Right. Um, And you find yourself trying to untie the ropes that are tying you to this tree. Um. Now, I would like you to please roll me a sleight of hand check to see if you can do it. 21! Oh, no! Oh, no! Yeah. Uh, Kai, you... (laughs) Sorry, it's not a crazy visual. Uh, (laughs) You, um... You pretty you make pretty quick work of untying mm-hmm. these ropes. Mm-hmm. They uh they tied your legs, but they left your hands untied. And uh oh, you <laughs> Oh my gosh. You're really good with your hands. You are really good with your hands. Uh, you untie this rope like you're the one who tied it. <laughs> that probably was. <laughs> they might have let you tie it. I don't know. Can you imagine? <laughs> Alright, you, you just tied yourself to that tree. You, you cool, we got it. Great. And you guys all laughed at me for wanting to bind her completely That's to the tree. That's like, no, I don't want to be bound to a tree. Next time, just yeah, like. Yeah, this is much better. Next time, just like bind my wrist to the tree. Oh my god. like that. So, yeah, for your action, you untie the rope, and for your movement, uh, you start running towards oh. Trigus. Oh! <laughs> Cool. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Rockna. I guess I'm tackling this guy. Rockna recalls her days of tackle football. <laughs> I was the biggest one on the team. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, roll me. That would be probably athletics. A tackle, I would assume. 19. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, Rockna, you handily tackle kai to the ground and i pin her down yeah yeah you can pin her down we'll say we'll say trigus it's your turn i'm gonna cast invisibility on myself okay yeah um you if anyone was looking they see trigus disappear Trigus goes poof trigus is now invisible would you like to do anything else on your turn i'm gonna tell rachna i'm gonna walk over and whisper in rachna's ear i'm invisible Ah! That was well done. That was well done. Yeah. <laughs> but I give her the message that I'm invisible. Um, oh. Uh, what are you? What are you doing? What are you planning? Well, I don't want to say in front of the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you you do your thing. <laughs> okay. You see Rockna talking to the empty air beside her. And I don't hear because Trigus is whispering. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not that you can do anything about it. Right. But Well, she's finally lost it. <laughs> all the stress has made her crack. <laughs> we all knew this was coming. <laughs> Rachna has Kai pinned to the ground. 
Kai, you shudder again and you suddenly have control over your body. And Rachna, you you can both, you can all see this ghostly figure uh, reappear kind of between the two of you. And then Rachna, I need you to roll me a charisma saving throw. Rachna, you suddenly feel a shiver oh, throughout no. your entire body. Oh, no. <laughs> as this ghost decides to possess you instead. Well, nuts. You have lost control of your... Crap, I didn't plan for that. Entire oh, self. Oh, no. no. And she has all of your weapons yep. and the books. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I just didn't have them on me. I have okay. all my weapons, though. Oh, yeah. No. And even if I didn't, my fists are great <laughs> weapons. <laughs> yep. So that happens on the ghost's turn. Rachna, it's your turn now, and you kind of haul back and punch Kai. <sighs> Rachna, roll me an attack roll against Kai. Do bad. Do bad. Do bad. I really don't want to mention this. Don't mention it, then. Just roll. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what, what, what? Don't you want to mention? <laughs> Says your DM. I feel compelled to let you know that I, um, I have proficiency in, in unarmed strikes. Okay. Oh. Cool. You didn't have to say that. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Could have just added it secretly. So yeah, roll and add your... I would not have added it to it. Uh, I would not have added it if I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oops, I forgot. What's Proficiency? What? Who's that? that? It's been two months since we've played. <laughs> um, that's a six. What do I add? Your proficiency bonus and your strength, strength modifier. modifier. <laughs> Eleven. What's your armor class? Sixteen. Oh, nice. When did you get so armorful? You're not squishy. My, I've only got twenty three hit points. I'm squishy. <laughs> well, sixteen. That's a pretty good. Yeah. Map. Pretty good AC. Uh, yeah, Rachna, you find yourself uncontrollably trying to punch Kai, and Kai manages to dodge it. She's just down on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, yeah. yeah you're like punching the ground. <laughs> yeah. Dodging. Yeah. Maybe the ghost is a little confused because it just hopped from like a real small body to like a real big one. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that means it is now Trigus's go. Invisible Trigus. You have also seen this ghost go from Kai, Kai to Rachna. To Rachna. And okay. you see Rachna attempt to punch Kai. Okay. Can I cast invisibility on her? It requires concentration, and you can mm. only have one concentration spell going at a time. Okay. So if you would like to cast invisibility on Kai, you can, but your invisibility would drop. Oh, okay. Because you would no longer be concentrating on that one. No, that wouldn't. I'm just going to run... And try to push her off of Kai. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to make that an athletics check from okay. Trigus. Okay. Okay. Now, normally I would do this oh. as a contest, but because you're invisible, uh-huh. <laughs> Rockna does the element of surprise. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 18 plus 220. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dirty 20. Um, <laughs> Rockna, you feel. <laughs> You feel yourself being shoved real hard. You're just kind of helpless spectator at this point inside of your own body. Um, You feel yourself being shoved off of Kai. Um, You hit the ground. Kai, you are no longer pinned to the ground. Yay. Yeah, so I'm going to remove Rockna's battle axes. (laughs) (laughs) You can't take my fists from me. Oh. Um, Battle axes are kind of scary. (laughs) I'm going to tell... Does Kai know I'm invisible? I don't think so. Mm-mm. Kai, I'm invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and stuff starts making sense now. Okay. Where, yeah, Rockman, yeah. you just saw her kind of fly <laughs> off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I take her weapons, or at least try to, anyway? I attempt to remove, relieve Rockna of her battle axes. <laughs> okay. And my javelins, and my... I feel like I can only go one at a time, and battle axes are scariest. Fair. And I can't remove Rock Never yeah. Fists, so battle axes go first. <laughs> Roll me a sleight of hand check. 
And, you know, to be honest, like, I hardly ever even remember I have javelins, so mm-hmm. I probably won't even use them. Yeah, <laughs> usually I'll, like, this whole time. <laughs> always go for the battle axes. They're on my 19! Mind. Plus Less three! Than gems. Mm. 21. Uh, yeah, we're gonna say you successfully remove Rockness battle axes from her. Yay, I throw them as far as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an athletics check. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see how far they don't go. Thirteen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They probably get about ten feet away. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? Uh, no. Let's. I'm good with that. Okay. Um, Rachna, you're gonna stand up. Is your bag on you? <laughs> oh no. Would you sleep with your bag on? I wasn't sleeping. I was oh, keeping no, watch. Oh, no, you were keeping watch. Yeah. She was. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, can I, I get I away roll. with saying no? I saw that no. eye roll. <laughs> yes, my bag is on me. Okay. You. <laughs> the ghost takes the dress. <laughs> <laughs> puts it on. <laughs> Over the armor. <laughs> you find yourself ripping off your bag throwing it open your hand reaches in we're gonna roll okay here we go just full of junk tell me what the fourth item on your list is um number four is my healer's kit with six uses left um yeah you reach in blindly to your bag you you grab out a healer's kit (laughs) and then in frustration that it's not like a weapon or something more cool heavy (laughs) You kind of throw it to the ground. Uh, and now it is Trigus's go. I'm going to play the bagpipes <sighs> and hope that it startles the ghost and it wakes Rachna up. Well, Rachna's awake. <laughs> I just hope yeah. it changes things. <laughs> Could you play them badly on purpose? <laughs> Maybe the noise would be so horrible that the ghost would leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to try to play the bagpipes horribly. It's going to be hard. Okay. <laughs> you don't even know how. <laughs> I know. Roll me a performance check. Um, you're hoping for a high number because you're trying to do it badly. Okay. I thought it was a one. What, <laughs> huh? Would that just mean she plays beautiful? Amazing. She accidentally plays the most beautiful bagpipe <laughs> solo ever known. She goes, stops, and like, sheds a single tear. <laughs> So moved by your performance. <laughs> it's a 10 altogether. Um, it's not, it's somehow not like super awful. It's not great. You've definitely played better. Um, but yeah, you pull out your bagpipes and you try to do a bad job, and it is really difficult for you to do a bad job. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you are natural <laughs> at uh-huh. the bagpipes. Um, yeah, Rachna, your head whips around trying to find the uh, invisible, the, the invisible <laughs> bagpipes, the source of the sound. It's not a great sound. Um, it does throw you off for a second, but you are still possessed and it is Kai's turn. But we're going to say you're a little distracted. Oh, God, what am I even going to do? If it wasn't Rachna in there, right. it would be just full out attack. Yeah. You know? Just I'm meet gonna- me up. <laughs> I was gonna say you can make attacks to not kill. Right. You can make non-lethal. Uh-huh. Also, you guys would know that when I'm reduced to zero HP, I drop to one HP instead. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So just attack um, her. <laughs> just mess her up. I'm <laughs> just beat up Ragna. <laughs> I'm very tempted to just throw some more ball bearings at you <laughs> because I have no strength. <laughs> like I don't want to like. You can use your, you can right use your dexterity for your weapons, though. We did um, realize that, right? You can use your dex modifier instead if you're using, I think, like your dagger, maybe. Like finesse. You have the finesse right? weapons, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, just going with the daggers. I don't want to hurt Rachna. I hurt you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Roll it with advantage because she's distracted okay. by the bagpipes. That's a two. That's a three. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, <laughs> you missed. That's advantage, pulling through. Yeah, good job, advantage. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, so, Rachna, you pull out your other javelin and throw it at Kai. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, eleven. Yeah, you missed. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Trigus. 
I would like to first give Kai Bardic inspiration. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Our Bardic inspiration. Oh, Here's your bear. Do I have to thank it? You yes, do. You do. <laughs> what and do you say to inspire her? Kai. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't see me right now, but I am glowing with pride at how wonderful I think you are and how you're going to get us out of this. <laughs> I don't know if I feel inspired or just pressure. <laughs> a little bit of both, probably. Um, <laughs> Definitely have the bardic inspiration. And then I'm going to take out my crossbow and try to shoot <laughs> off this. Just, just lightly. Just a lightly shooter with a yeah. crossbow. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, is it fine? Well, <laughs> just go, go, just no, go no, for no. the shoulders. No, I'm sorry. Is it two actions? Is it too many uh, actions? Beardic inspiration but, is a, a uh, bonus, bonus action. action. A bonus oh, action. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, just like go Sorry. for the shoulders. Nothing lethal. I mean, it's yeah. Fine. I told them to, to hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> attack. Roll me an attack there roll. There we go. Did that count? You, you barely did it roll. Did you that just like do it again, do it again. Roll? dropped it. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> okay. A, okay, a 12 plus. plus. It's a ranged weapon, so I think your dexterity goes. 13, 14, 15. What's your AC? Hi. Rachna? <laughs> 17. Okay, yeah. Uh, you do not quite hit Rachna. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully Sorry, she I'm... doesn't remember this when she wakes up. <laughs> she, she will. She's awake. <laughs> she's awake she, she's aware there. of what's she's going on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm going to try and bag her. Wait, no, it's Ghost's turn, right? It is Ghost's turn. Um, Ghost is going to reach into the bag again. So from starting... F- well, that's what we'll do. We'll do a D6, but starting from that fourth item. So like starting from the healer's kit. Okay. Count four more. This is kind of fun. What's in Rockness bag? I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, it's a box of jewels. 